So here we have um, a task to simplify each expression. Um, so what are we going to do with the first one? Well, we need to distribute out the 2. Right? So what we get is 2 times square root 3, and then we get plus 8 times square root 5. We cannot simplify these anymore, right? Because 3 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number. We cannot turn them into its prime factorizations. Um, and so they are not like terms. So that is going to be our final answer for number one, right? And then for number two, we'll go ahead and run this. So what do we get? We get we distribute out the square root six. So we get square root six times square root three. And then on the second term, we get minus square root six times uh, two square root six. So it's times two square root six, all right? So now let's go ahead and multiply it out and see what we get. So when we multiply two radicals, you multiply what's under the radical. So we get 6 times 3 is 18. So we get square root 18. And then over here, we have a negative 1 times a positive 2 is negative 2 on the outside. And then we have square root 6 times square root 6. So that's square root 36, right? Or 6, right? So let's go ahead and do a prime factorization to simplify the square root 18. So what do we get? We get square root of 2 times 3 times 3 because 18 divided by 2 is 9 and then the multiples of 9 are 3 and 3 right so 2 times 3 times 8 uh, 3 that's equal to 18 and then we'll do a minus 2 times 6 right because 6 times 6 is equal to 36 we could pull that out of the square root all right so what do we get we are left with well we have two threes there so we could pull out the 3 square times square root 2 minus 12 and that's number two simplified let's go to number three and three is going to be the same but different and so it's going to be square root two times three square root seven plus square root two times two square root five so let's go ahead and work this out we get three on the outside times the square root of two times seven which is fourteen plus, and then over here, it's a 2 on the outside, times the square root of 10. 2 times 5 is 10, right? All right, let's see if we can simplify this and get anywhere. Um, so this 14 is a 2 times 7. This one's a 2 times 5. So we can't simplify these anymore. Um, so that's it. We're done. Right. All right. And then, oh my goodness, now we have one of these <laughs> crazy foiling problems, right? So let's see if I can do this. Um, so it's first is going to be 2 times 2. Uh, outside is going to be plus 2 times 4 square root 2. And then inside is going to be minus square 4 square root 2 times 2. And then the outside is going to be minus, right? So we have a minus times a plus is minus. 4 square root 2 times 4 square root 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if I can simplify this. So we get 2 times 2 is 4, and then we have 2 times 4 square root 2 is going to be plus 8 square root 2. And then over here we have negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 square times square root 2. And this last part is going to be minus 4 times 4. It's minus 16 square root. And we have square root 2 times square root 2 is square root 4. Okay. Oh, I think I messed that one up a little bit. Hold on. Here we have 8 square root 2. That's good. Over here we have 4 times square root 2 times 2. No, I'm, we're okay. Okay, we're good. So um, if you could see here, this 8 square root 2 minus 8 square root 2, this cancels out, right? Positive 8 minus 8, and they both have a square root 2. They cancel out. So what we're left with is 4 minus 16 times 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. So we pull it out. And that's going to equal to 4 minus 32, and that's going to equal to negative 28. And we are done. There we go.